Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, June 17th. Harold Durfee starts us off with In the Garden. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God discloses And He walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever Friday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Patricia Rabon. Our scripture reading is Galatians 3, 23 and 20 to 25. Now before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came, so that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Khalif Browder never should have been locked up. At age 16, he was jailed on charges that he stole a backpack because his parents couldn't pay his $3,000 cash bail. Without ever standing trial, he was imprisoned for three years, nearly two years in solitary confinement. After an article about Khalif was published in the New Yorker magazine, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio vowed to clear the backlogs in state court and reduce the youth inmate population. The effort was too late for Khalif. After release, he never recovered from prison's indignities, including multiple assaults and food deprivation during solitary. In 2015, he committed suicide at his parents' home. His tragedy illustrates the soul-killing costs of a criminal justice system that disproportionately confines Americans' black citizens. As one author has described the mass incarnation, incarnation of incarceration of black males in the U.S., it's the new Jim Crow. Our spiritual lockdowns, however, run across spirit racial lines. During at SNCC's Freedom Summer in Mississippi, leader Bob Moses observed that white people are probably being more oppressed in the terms of their ability to speak than Negroes. By that, he no doubt meant that white Mississippians were held captive by their own racist theology and culture. As the Apostle Paul describes such imprisonment, before the coming of this faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that has come, that was to come, would be revealed. As a Hebrew of Hebrews, Paul understood this more than most. He knew the confinement imposed by a law no human could keep. So the law was our guardian until Christ came that we might be justified by faith. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. God's freedom is freeing indeed. Let us pray. Jesus, we thank you for paying the price to unlock our heavy spiritual chains. Amen. Our closing hymn is, In Christ There Is No East or West.